This is what I ate today. Delicious. Welcome back. So today I went out for a walk and found these greens. In Cameroon we call them green and in Nigeria I think they are also called green but in other parts of the world the, there's some people call them green amaranth or African spinach. These are delicious and they are good for weight loss. Plenty of fiber and low in fat. Don't forget to comment and let us know what you call them, where you come from. So we just pick out the leaves like this if the stem is soft you will use the stem and then you take out the flower we don't eat the flower so I'm gonna pick them like that uh, there's a lot of recipes that we make with these greens they're delicious so I pick the leaves like this when I have a handful I go to my chopping board and then chop them up like fine not too small yeah and then I transfer to my bowl I'm done chopping my veggies I have a pot of water here I'm gonna bring that to a boil so these greens are very healthy but they also have oxalates which may bind to calcium and cause kidney stones so this step is very important to put them in boiling water for about five minutes and then drain out that excess some of that juice out you know just squeeze it out after that and throw the juice so because I don't eat any meat and I'm gonna be cooking for someone else that eats meat I have some meat on the side that I'm gonna start boiling I'm just gonna make sure the meat has enough flavor because it's not gonna go in the main pot I'm just gonna cook this on the side and then add some of the sauce in there to give it the flavor of the food I said these grow wild here in Germany the green amaranth but in Africa we cultivate it I brought my water to a boil I'm gonna put in the greens always do this step back home I didn't know why I just found out it's because of the oxalates you need to get rid of some of it so this is what you would call like blanching like put it cook it for five minutes and then drain the water and run it over cold water I'm just gonna let that sit in the warm water and turn up the fire I'm gonna let everything cook my greens have softened I'm just gonna drain it drain all the hot water out wash it and squeeze it I can squeeze the water out like that that's what we do like that these greens are cooked in peanuts but you don't fry your peanuts you don't roast them or boil them you just keep the skin on and use a coffee uh, grinder and grind the peanuts so for this dish for the quantity of greens that I have I measured out one and a half cups using my measuring cup I measured out one and a half cups of uh, peanuts and I ground it And I've mixed it with some warm water to break it up before I start cooking with it. If you've been watching me for a, for, for a minute, you, you've realized I don't eat any animal protein. But I do enjoy my African food vegan. So people wonder how I can make Af African food vegan. Like some dishes that the main thing that makes it sweet is all the different kinds of meats and fish that I put in it. And I don't put any of that in my food and it's still delicious so welcome in I'm gonna show you how I make delicious food vegan as you already know I'm using mushrooms today I've got uh, button mushrooms and I'm also gonna use a little bit of soy curls these are made from soy 
it's like a plant-based meat i just always use like a handful of it in my food to give it to give it some bulk and i always start with my mushrooms so if you're cooking mushrooms you know they have a lot of uh, water you start with them and let them release their liquids before adding any salt if you put salt immediately it's gonna stop the water from coming out from the mushrooms I've got a whole onion white uh, yellow onion chopped I'm gonna add that in to cook with the mushroom yeah when you realize meat or animal protein is really unhealthy it has no fiber whatsoever it just opens the door for disease in your body and then you can transition mushrooms are very very healthy yeah mushrooms are anti-cancer it's like a superfood I eat mushrooms every day I always have some kind of mushroom roasted in my fridge I try to eat at least one a day a little bit every day goes a long way in the winter months you want to eat some mushrooms because there's not a lot of sun sunlight and you get some vitamin D from mushrooms look at all that water coming out I have four uh, medium-sized tomatoes they were like this chopped up this is so simple very simple spices I've got some leeks chopped up I've got some ginger and garlic and some pepper some spicy chilies that are ground with my stone the water is finished now I'm gonna put in my peanuts and add more water I'm adding some more water I'm gonna put in my soy curls so they can get soft I'm gonna put a pinch of salt just a little bit when I ground my pepper in, uh, using the stone I put some salt in there to help it grind better so I'm gonna watch the salt I'm gonna cover this and let it cook for about 20 minutes for the peanuts to get cooked before I add the spices is beginning to thicken I'm gonna go in with my tomatoes I'll let that cook for about five minutes my peanuts have thickened I'm gonna go in with some ginger and garlic and my ground pepper I'm gonna mix that in I'm gonna let these spices cook for five minutes look at how thick it has become I'm gonna go in with my leeks and water cube for flavor so I have a small pot on the side I'm gonna put in a little bit of oil to fry some onions that's about a tablespoon of oil I'm gonna fry some onions that I'm gonna add to the food at the end it's for salt the salt is okay I'm just gonna add a bit of nutritional yeast because I'm not using any crayfish or any maggi cubes this does a trick that's about a tablespoon of nutritional yeast I'm gonna mix that in it's time to go in with my green amaranth this doesn't take a, lo a long time to cook because we already cooked them in hot water for a few minutes so you make sure everything is you know mixed in together flavors right and then you just add in your greens you just put more and mix 
please don't forget like subscribe and share it helps the videos get viewed by other people you might know someone out there who also wants to eat healthy cook healthy and have enjoy african food with no meat and fish and still eat delicious food please share with a friend I put in uh, my onions I'm gonna fry them and then add it to this pot later when they're totally fried it just gives the food a different taste notice I didn't cook my food with any oil because peanuts have their own oil so it's just that one spoon of oil that I'm frying the onions in right then that's all that's the oil that's gonna go into this food I'm just gonna cook this for about three minutes and let everything mix in together so to enjoy my beautiful greens, I'm going to be having it with some yoka or cassava. I usually buy the frozen ones. And to cook this, you just have to get some water to boil. Bring your water to boil and then just grab it from the freezer and pour it in. I'll let it come to a boil again because it was frozen. We had it boiling. But because I had so much water in there, that's a lot of water. I'm going to reduce the water. Just enough. See, I'm not covering it in water. So in 15 minutes, that should be done. It's been 15 minutes. See, the water has dried out. And you just use a toothpick and go in. It goes right in. So it's done. The turn off the fire. My onions are almost ready. Meanwhile, I'm gonna take some of this sauce so it mixes with the juices of the meat and cooks together. I've already turned off my fire. I'm just waiting for the onions to cook. So that's the meat sauce. Guys, you can't you can't force anybody to eat like you. So if you're conscious that some of those things are not good for you and you don't want to eat them and you're the main cook in the house don't force everybody to eat like you just give people what they want so I mixed in my onions see there was almost no oil left after the onions fried that oil is high in calories and you don't need it empty calories that's not what makes the food delicious. It's the seasonings you put in your food that make it delicious. So my greens are ready. It's lunch time, so I'm just gonna save myself and show you how I eat. I always eat a little bit of tempeh every day. I always have some in my fridge. You can check out how to roast tempeh on my channel and try and incorporate it to your diet. I usually have tempeh and mushroom in my fridge. But since I cooked with mushroom today, I'm just going to add only the tempeh. And if you're struggling with weight loss, you want to check out my videos on sustainable weight loss. And if you have issues with belly fat, I'm going to link up the video to help you lose belly fat. So check it out after this. Some sauerkraut. On the side as I said sauerkraut is good for your gut and I try to eat a little bit every day no matter what I'm eating I have a little bit of sauerkraut on the side I also have a video on my channel on how to make sauerkraut you want to check that out so I'm gonna put in that's enough for every day just a tablespoon like that I have my greens my green amaranth with my tempeh some sauerkraut on the side and some cassava or yucca that's my bowl that's my lunch for today I don't eat a little bit I eat a lot and I don't put on weight because I eat food in their natural state mm. this is so good you want to try this recipe